pouch versus crate what is best now in this video i'm going to go through the debate between pouches and crates in both the support and the medic class we're going to take a look at which ones are best which ones you should be running with i do know that people have made videos on this in the past but from my point of view they haven't really looked at all of the different aspects they haven't really taken it all into account sometimes you can just look at stats and look too much into stats and come out and say oh the pouch is best or the the crate is best but you haven't actually played with it in game and really understood why one might be better than the other Aside from the stats, there are definitely other things that can impact your choice. So let's start out with the medic class and the first aid. The banded pouches are used by the medic and the cavalry classes as a healing item in Battlefield 1. They function similarly to the first aid pack seen in Battlefield 4, a small single use item that allows infantry to heal on the move. Now the pouches are different from the crates because they are consumed immediately when a player makes contact with them. They heal 12.5 hit points per second, there or thereabouts, until the player recovers all their health or is hurt by further attacks. This means that you can throw a medic pack at a teammate, they will heal really quickly, and unless they get shot, they will continue to heal until full HP. Healing is not affected by suppression, which is a massive positive, and can stack only with healing provided by a medical crate. That means if you throw a crate and a pouch at somebody, they are gonna heal very fast. If you throw two pouches at a member of your team, they're not gonna heal any quicker than if you just threw one. Funnily enough, pouches can also heal enemies. If you throw one on the floor and then they are the first player to pick them up, I think, or maybe they have to kill you first and then pick them up, they can heal. It's quite a weird one. You might have noticed it in game, this is the same with ammo as well. If they've thrown an ammo, box on the floor and then you run over to it you can also get some ammunition back similar to the ammo pouch players can throw pouches at needy teammates by pressing the spot button by pressing q on your keyboard or whatever the equivalent is on your controller i'm not a huge fan of this system i think maybe you should have to switch and then throw it because you'll often find yourself trying to spot an enemy but instead of spotting them you'll frisbee a bandage pouch at somebody i think this is a little weird however it is nice because people are often not really sure what to click in order to give a bandage pouch and they just click Q because that's spot, spot a teammate, throw them something. It really kind of has a positive and a negative effect. Now the medical crates, they are a gadget featured again for the medic class but not for the cavalry class this time. Deployed at the carrier's feet, the crate will heal up to 500 health for infantry within 7 meters including enemies. Users receive 12 health per second, which can stack with healing provided by the bandage pouch and regeneration, but not from other medkits. It's as I said before with the pouches, you can stack crates and pouches together to increase the healing capacity and the speed for friendlies. Healing is interrupted if the user takes damage or is suppressed. Now this is different from the pouch because suppression doesn't affect you with the pouch, but it does with the crate. This means that medical crates will definitely be more useful where teammates have sufficient cover to retreat, but definitely not if they're out in the open. The crate disappears when its contents are depleted, a new crate is deployed, or if it is destroyed by weaponry. Should its owner be killed, the medical crate will disappear five seconds later. Again, medical crates are one of those things that can be very, very effective in a certain situation, but a lot of the time they're completely useless. You'll often find this if someone throws one out in the open, you're under fire, you try and Sit on the crate, get some health, it just doesn't work because you're being suppressed and it doesn't do anything to increase your HP. Now from my point of view, I use pouches all day long. They heal faster, can be thrown at friendly players, meaning that they are far more effective. And for me, playing on front lines and conquest sometimes, I just think they're the best deal. I'm healing my squad more than I'm healing friendly teammates because we're running around in kind of a, a group together, having that pack that I can throw to individual teammates is really really effective especially if we're a few medics it just means we've got plenty of pouches to go around and it's the faster way of getting the job done. Say you're playing on operations it could be better to carry a crate say you're hiding in a trench where you've got definite cover and there's maybe 10 friendlies you're not really going to have enough pouches to go around if you know what I mean so having a crate might be useful in that situation. I couldn't really recommend using the crate over the pouch though the pouch is just better overall in my opinion in terms of healing people getting them back to full health and getting out into the action and helping push flags and objectives the bandage pouch is much more flexible than the crate that's why i'd go with it some people do double up and take the crate and the pouch but for me you have to be taking the revive option in the medic class now let's move over to the support class and the ammo pouch and the ammo crate with the crates you can farm resupplies far easier 
and that is why you'll often see a player using them. Drop a crate into a group of friendly players and instantly pick up a large amount of points. This is useful if you're looking to unlock something that requires resupplies or just want easy score. The convenience of the ammo crate is clear, as after dropping one, you don't need to worry about placing anything else down. It is, of course, also depending on the map or mode you are playing. If you want to play a smaller game mode, where you will always be on the move, I would suggest the pouches for sure. If you play in operations and you're stuck behind cover and stationary for quite some time, well, maybe you want to use the crates. I'm not really too sure. It really depends on what you are doing in your personal situation. If you've got 10 dudes standing behind cover, the crate is definitely going to be more effective. There's no way that a pouch can give you more points or resupply that many people. It does one person at a time. You're going to run out of them yourself. Some people stack and they run with the crates and the pouch. Therefore, you can drop a crate into cover and then you can run and individually resupply people. If you're looking to farm points that way, you're helping the team out. It does work. But for me, I think you really need to be running with one of your gadgets being able to deal damage. But again, some people do run too and it does work. The crate is more useful and consistent to use for many people whilst the pouches can be a bit of a pain to use if you're not used to the callout system of the game. Again the callout system is where people will request ammo. If you have the pouch you have to really look around and help people that way. If you have a crate you've dropped it people can run over and deal their own ammunition to themselves. Really as a support player you need to sum up the situation mode map squad team and decide which is better. If you look and you see you've already got a support with pouches in your squad, maybe you want to play with a crate and do something slightly different to them. It doesn't really matter what I tell you right now, it depends on the situation, if you know what I mean. You have to go into the game, you have to work out what you want. With the medic, it's a lot different. The pouches are best, 100%. Simply put, the pouch is best for instant supply and the crate is best for an overall supply, resupplying more players in your team and doing an overall better job. You've also got to remember that throwing a pouch to a teammate using Q gives you a large animation during which you cannot shoot and cannot suppress the enemy. It often gets me killed, which is really annoying. From the negative side, the pouches, if you toss too many of them and no one picks them up, you'll have a large delay until your next drop. That means that you're not going to be resupplying as many people as you'd really want to. And the crates, they have a slow resupply time for gadgets like limpet charges and the assault weapons, which means that you're going to be having to prone behind the box and put yourself in a situation where you might get shot. That's why if the crate is being placed in a good position, it's great. If it's not being placed in a good position at all, then it's terrible. You can look into this in far more detail. Rogue Nine does a very good video on the actual timings of the crates and the pouch for the ammo. He doesn't do anything on the medical stuff, but he does for the ammo for the support class. It's quite interesting, but for me, you can't really look into that too much because in a game of Battlefield, there's so much random stuff going down and people hardly place ammo anyway. So how long it takes to resupply you makes no difference if they're putting it in a stupid position and not really dropping anything at all. An interesting point with the ammo pouches versus the crates is the way players in this game tend to play. There's no way that you're going to get a support player just to sit there when there's four or five assault players asking for their gadgets to be refilled. So having a pouch wouldn't really work in that situation. Ammo crates, you throw one in the corner, they work, people can go over. If you throw them behind cover as well, it's a very good way of getting your own team to stay alive. This brings me to a conclusion. For the medic class, run with pouches. They are the best. They're definitely the best way to get your team back to full health and get them out into the action quickly. You're also in control of who gets healed. This means that you can heal your squad fast on the move. For me, it is the best. I never have a problem with running out of them either. The game is quite generous with how many you get and you can heal yourself very fast. As for the ammo in the support class, run with the crate. The crate is better for placing behind cover I think it is better overall for healing. I've had more points using the crate. I can see why people would use the pouch. If you're playing front lines, the pouch might be better because there just aren't that many people hiding behind cover, so the crate wouldn't really make sense. But overall, if you're looking at putting something in your loadout and never changing it, I think the ammo crate would probably be overall the better option. Again, it is all down to your own decision though. Check what game you're going to be playing, check what game mode, check what map, and then make a decision. Let me know in the comments what you use, pouch or crate for both medic and support. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.